Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I just editing this video now, and I know I said I was gonna do the PS1 transfer and show how I did the um, PS1 games, how I put them on there and stuff like that. Um, I actually ended up copying the wrong files. Um, instead of copying the folder with the game, I copied like it was two folders within a folder, and I didn't realize it at the time I'm making this video because, like I said. Um, I really didn't plan to make it. It was just kind of spur of the moment that I remembered that I figured out how to do it. Um, like I said, I don't know if anybody's done this yet. So if anybody has and you've seen it or if it's on Reddit or something, I haven't checked. If you guys want, put it down in the comments. Shout credit score out to them. I just tried this the other day. Um, but like I said, there as far as like troubleshooting wise, I've really not had any like problems with it um the only thing that i have kind of experienced with it is sometimes it'll if you try to like activate it activate your vita if you're obviously on 3.60 and if you didn't back it up and stuff like that like i did and i was trying different methods and it would keep updating my database and then my whole i would lose everything and it's not necessarily everything, I would just lose like how I have my games on there and stuff like that and everything, so um yeah. But uh that's really it. I mean other than that, like I said, as long as you have everything set up and you follow um other people's guides on like how to set up your SD card and all that stuff, because I didn't have a guide on that or set it up or anything. Um if you guys want me to make one, something like that, I can. If you guys want me to make one about uh the whole PS1 situation and all that like to get the the e-boots and stuff like that and to transform them into adrenaline and things like that with this um i can it's pretty much the same process but like i said if you guys want to see one something like that let me know and i'll do it um anything else if you guys want to see ps vita related um you guys can at me at twitter or you know facebook message me or you know instagram message me or comment it down below and as soon as i get the time i will make a video on it um i do plan to do more um, stuff like this is just hard because a lot of people already like cover the pretty much the main things on it I'm kind of late but like I said I did find this and I haven't seen too many people do it yet or bring it up yet but like I said I also haven't checked the reddit or anything so I said all credit squads whoever did it um, but other than that hope you guys enjoy the video but yeah that's the whole thing with the PS1 so that's why I kind of cut it at the end right here after I deleted the VPK um, as you guys can see, everything ran smoothly and everything, so. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mr. World Yuppie. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer very quickly your uh, VPKs or your ISO files or emulators, whatever files you guys want from your, beta, uh, from your computer to your Vita fairly quickly. Actually, it's probably the quickest method. And you don't need no USB connection. You don't need anything. All you need is your PS Vita to be running on the... 3.60 firmware and obviously it has to be um, technically hacked or to have um it's no running and you also need the SD to Vita adapter and you have to have it set up as your main not technically your main you can have it set up as your additional storage I just have mine set up as my main storage on here so I do not have my uh, where is it my um my PS Vita SD card in. I don't know if you guys could see it, but there it is. That's my old one. And just to clarify, I will open up. Where is it? As you guys can see, there is nothing in there. It is just the connection. As you guys can see, nothing in there. It's just the connection. So, yeah. But, um, so essentially you just have to, you know, have all that set up, making sure everything runs and everything. So normally you would go into your, um, your Vita shell and you would go in here and obviously you would hit select and you would either run it through the FTP or you run it through USB. But with this method, we're actually simply just going to take out the SD card. So we're going to power it off completely. 
And the only things that you're gonna need is a little SD reader that you can plug in and essentially just the SD card, which I'm gonna show you guys now and not cut this out so you guys don't say it's not true. Uh, so here it is. This is my SD card. Coming from there, you can see the inside, the little um, adapter. I got mine from Amazon for, I want to say, I think it was like four bucks, but it took a month to get here. I should have just probably paid the $15 and um, got it shipped quicker. But all right, so now, oh, 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 technical difficulties. Okay, so now that obviously this is out, we're gonna head to the computer and I really didn't like plan to make this video, so I really don't have like a lot of this stuff prepped or set up. So we're just gonna plug this in. As you guys can tell, it's gonna read. Oh my god, I really wish I should have had, I should have just prepared for this. Okay, so this is the God of War uh, DPK or the God of War game that came into it. So essentially, what you want to do is just open up your file explorer. Uh, click this PC and after you set up your um, your SD to Vita you're gonna have um, a US, it's gonna come up as a USB drive whether what name it comes up as everyone's different so once you guys set all that up you'll know what I'm talking about essentially when you get to this point and then I just have a folder named VPK and essentially here is where I transfer all of my uh, all of my other stuff um, I ISOs and everything too. So I'll show you like a couple different examples. I'm gonna transfer over this God of War, the VPK. And I'm not, oops, I'm just gonna sit on my tripod. So essentially, I'm not gonna cut any of this out or anything, so I mean, everything just runs. But, so while this is going, I guess I'll give a quick little update on everything. So essentially, I haven't been making videos. I've been in school and working a lot lately, so. I've been dealing with that, um, aside from raising my son, if you guys haven't seen that video yet or that vlog that I did, um, I'll put it in the annotation cards so you guys can watch that one too. Um, other than that, uh, I did end up picking up a new setup. I do have a uh, Blue Snowball Mic Elgato uh, Recorder HD60 and then I do have a new green screen setup and also this camera um so essentially i do want to um upload a lot more get back into the groove of uploading and putting out more content and things of that nature so but other than that so while this is going i'll probably um fast forward it from here So now essentially from this part, which I think is the most crucial part, you want to go back, go back again, or just click the, this PC from the sidebar, but you want to essentially hover over it, right click it, and then click eject. And then you want to wait until this goes away and you get this, that says safe to remove hardware, da da da, or say the USB, and then from there, you're good to unplug it, as you guys can see. So now I'm gonna set this back down. Focus back down. Oh, oh, oh. Shit. Alright, so now uh, I can get it. Okay, so now we have the Vita. Uh, as you guys can see, there's no SD card in there. There's my SD. I'm actually gonna place this down so you guys can see one more time that there's nothing in there. So you guys don't think that I'm, you know. Trying to pull a fast one, so you just want to put this in there until you hit the click. So now you're just going to power it on, and you're going to see this LED turn on. As you guys can see, the logo of the S now, you can see the LED brighten back up. So now it means that we're good to go. 
So it's going to do its thing. As you guys can see, I'm still on my stuff. Everything's still here. Everything's still working. So we're going to go to Vita Show. Open it. Okay, so now from here, everything is going to be in your UXO file folder. Oh no, focus. All right. Um, as far as like certain folders, I don't know why they don't pop up. Why does it keep out of focus? So like the PSP men or emulator, I know it doesn't come up. I don't know why. But anyways, so here goes the VPK folder. As you guys can see, the God of War is here. So I'm gonna install this one. And I'm just gonna let it run again, and I'll probably end up speeding it up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch all of it again. And then after this installs. I'll do a little test and Alright guys, so now that it's finally finished, the install time still takes a little bit. As you guys can see, it is there now, the God of War collection. So we'll boot it up. Okay, so I can show you guys that it is real. I haven't touched it. Um, I actually slowed down the, the speed up. You can actually hear me clicking my buttons and playing my Xbox. So, as you guys can see, just loading and booting up like it should. Uh, and now we get to pick one. We'll just do the first one. Now, as you guys can see, everything functions right. Just hit again. There so you guys can see. Anyways, also too, I do, uh, I do want to do a Q&A. But obviously, I don't know if you guys ask questions. Um, you guys, if you guys do want one, or if you guys, you know, want to help me out and give me the chance to do the Q&A, because I do want to do them. Um, so if you guys want to send me questions, you guys can either at me on Twitter, um, or on the Facebook page, or on the last picture of my Instagram and stuff, or send me a message on the Instagram, or send me a message on Twitter, or send me a message on Facebook, like whatever questions that you guys have, um, stuff like that. So, as soon as I... If you guys do send them, and if I get enough, then 
I set up that whole little video and everything. All right, so now I'm about to get into the action. Six forever. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Okay. So now, as you guys can see, right. so now that you guys, you know, they work and everything, I have installed all these throughout it. So now, on to the PS1s, real quick, just to finish it up. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this uh, old VPK, I believe. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.